Hello. So I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year. So this is gonna be the first video um, of me vlogging. <laughs> and it's gonna be through December and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna, um, since it's like, it's, it's, it's a test run <laughs> or I don't know, like we're gonna uh, see if I like it, see if it makes sense for me and the channel and yeah. So um, through this video, I'm gonna take you with me um, to Agurere, to where I grew up, where I grew up, and I'm gonna be just spending really cozy Christmassy time. A lot, I'm gonna do a lot of Christmassy stuff uh, with my family. I'm gonna do a living room concert in the living room um, in the house, uh, of course, that I grew up in, and uh, so I'm gonna take you along um, for that and. So let's do it. <laughs> See you soon. Hi, Ashton Mean. Hi. Boop, 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 boop. Amos. This is Amos if you haven't met him. He is my most recent baby. Yeah, I love you. I love you. My boy. He is six months old. Masking. You think you can do it just a little bit, and then you think you can go on just a little longer. Because it makes socializing with the listics easier or simply possible. And sometimes it is what we desperately crave to be able to connect with others, especially when you have not been around other people that are like you. It can be a quick default tool to grab the mask and before you realize it has started to crush you, dim your light, and then you wake up devastated. These are great tower moments because afterwards the mask falls off easier and you are reborn. It's like your whole life flashes before you and you are you again. I'm a late diagnosed autistic and I'm a recovering chronic masker working on taking my mask off more and more each day. This is gonna be like some kind of my take on Blackmas and just adding a bit of more daily, like day-to-day -day casual footage and videos to the channel. And I just wanna, wanna show up on the channel in more ways, I guess, than just the, the like healing videos that I've been doing since I started the channel. So, 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 so yeah. It's coffee time. I'm gonna go practice some more for my concert. And
We went together to see the big Christmas tree downtown being lit. Yara thought we were gonna light it on fire, but <laughs> the lights on the tree are lit um, on first of Advent, so they had trouble with lighting it though, so you won't see the final result. <laughs> So I just finished getting ready for my uh, living room concert tonight. I have a little hair situation going on. I'm in between colors. <laughs> my roots are like bright yellow. So this was my solution. Tomorrow I'm going platinum again. Um, my brother's room so yeah i will um film a bit on the concert as well we're gonna have mulled wine and some christmasy snacks for the guests and it's gonna be cozy nice <laughs> We have some things for the guests to nipple on, some Christmas cakes, some Christmas soda, and some like mm, sheep meat, I think. And then they can have Yola Gluck or mulled wine in a winter moomin cup it's like one of the things that always puts me in a christmas mood when we start doing mold wine in the advent so today is uh, first of advent so we decided to to do the concert on that day so i think that's really cozy and um mom is gonna play also one piece that i wrote for her she's a flutist so she's just tuning and yeah i'm a little bit okay pretty pretty nervous but i had a little bit of wine so i feel better <laughs> so it's been so long since i've played like a whole set by myself and playing the piano and it's like i kind of forgot how much work it is to like just yeah you're so busy you're playing so many notes <laughs> but um it's also just my deepest passion so i'm also excited i just hope i don't mess everything up <laughs> no. No.
Ja, det var det. Hvad jeg mener ikke, det, så jeg siger, if I, if I, if I hear me, then I'm most likely playing this one. Yeah. 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 They, they live yeah. <laughs> Not on the big house, but behind. Yeah. 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 Sunna sem sagt, hún er búin að semja fyrir mitt föð sólustikki og hérna, ég var að frumflytta eitt bara nóg um daginn og það er fyrir pyrkan okkur þetta svona að svo litlu plassi Kannski vantur eyrun inn í litlu rými En þetta frumflytti ég hvert fyrir tveimur hann Nei, hann var það ekki fyrir það Það var bara í fyrir það Það var bara meðan við vorum úti í þrussið Já, og svo er hún líka samlega fyrir þessu hann að álagsflutsansambul Já, það er hvert þetta á Hvert er þú tríó? Og tríó, já. Og það er alltaf eitthvað svona náttúru stemming eða eitthvað. Já, já. Það er líka fuglar. Já. Já. Þannig að já. Við erum bara, og veist, það er ekki pása eða eitthvað. Já, það er alltaf að fá svo fyrst. So I'm going to sit down with you guys a little bit. multiple stages of waking up yes i woke up early because uh, yara went on a on the first flight back to reykjavik um and i'm staying two days longer so i just woke up gave her a ride waited for her to board and then i came back and i kind of snuggled up in bed again and got a little bit more like rest as in like chill i didn't fall asleep but <clears throat> so yesterday we had the living room concert and it was just so fun i was definitely nervous but like i say this all the time i always forget like how much it makes me nervous um because i forget afterwards because it's such a high <laughs> <clears throat> so um 
Akura that always rejuvenates me. Um, like I have, you probably know or have noticed that I have also mentioned it from like time to time, um, especially on Patreon, that I only realized like kind of recently, maybe a few months ago, that I am heavily burned out and like I didn't know that was the thing I was experiencing kind of just like like if we don't know that the color blue is called blue then we don't know that's the color blue it's just something we experience that is a lot my existence i think that's also related to being autistic it's like it's like with emotions we <clears throat> feel them intensely and from others absorb them and like and we feel intensely ourselves but it's sensation it's like it's energy it's sensation yeah, I'm just like enjoying my coffee and me and my mom are going to uh, buy Christmas lights for mine and Yara's house since everything was closed yesterday and, and we didn't really have time Saturday. I was preparing for the concert. But anyway, so me and mom are going to go like personally, I, I get so less stressed um, doing things and errands and stuff if we do it in Akure where I'm from it's just like everything like, people aren't really stressed here they're just it's like people get it here that stress and like worry about stupid things like <laughs> it's not the priority of life you know and I just feel like people just get it they know how to prioritize the things that I would like to prioritize in life so every time I get here, it's like, it's so healing for me. And it's like, I have just realized recently that I need to prioritize coming here often. So that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been really good in my, like, in recovering my energy. Like, I have never been as energetic as I've been this weekend. And I felt it, it's kind of been like, maybe a week ago, I felt all of a sudden how my energy levels were starting to go up again. I've been so, they've been, of course, down, <laughs> as happens with burnout. And it's, I know it's, it's like, you know, it, it started like three years ago, me getting burned out. And I'm not going to go into that in this video, but um, just like touching on what I'm thinking about right now. And it's been so re revelationary to get the my autism diagnosis and that was the beginning of recovering from that and not only recovering from burnout but just getting answers and getting um being the start of putting my life back together or putting my life creating a new lifestyle that works for me so that i don't always go down this rabbit hole again and again so it's been scary. It's been scary, like, since last year. Because I've been just realizing how, um, you know, it's part of, like, reali realizing when you don't know all your life that you are, for example, like, autistic like me. And then knowing, and it hits you like a big bomb, and it hits you in stages. And you just realize how much you have been pretending um, subconsciously just as a so, uh, coping mechanism, as a survival technique to to not get stomped on to um, and just yeah to be able to to breathe to like that's that's the belief that you're fed that you need to you cannot be who you are <laughs> to be able to have a spot on the elite that is earth um, so 
just unpacking all of that and it's like masking is extremely traumatizing when you do it sub uh, unknowingly unconsciously subconsciously so um that's also another video so let me know if you want me to just talk about that in another video um i also realized that i'm hyperlexic which means that I need to talk a lot. So once I start talking about something like this, like that isn't a specific, like, okay, now I'm going to talk about just this in this like video, and then I just go on forever. So I'm just going to stop now. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hvernig sko silki fyrir hann, flott. So, uh, we are buying Christmas lights. We're gonna have, me and Yara are gonna have Christmas tree for the first time since we are uh, in our house. This is gonna be our first Christmas home in our house. So, buying some lights. Okay, now we are going to make some gingerbread cookies.
so i think i forgot to film like a little bit when they finished at the salon like the final result so i'm just gonna wait until tomorrow for the daylight but they managed to get almost all of the blue out there's a little blue hue in the ends but the rest of it is kind of cool icy i think it's gonna be pretty nice i wanted to kind of talk about like I guess like touch on my last video which was you know I used my healing video one of my videos that I do usually you know on my channel and um, so how I speak often in those videos is like it's pretty sometimes it's pretty vague and like open to interpretation and it's it's just how it comes to me and, and how like I tune in often it's like and it's meant to reach mm, kind of like reach different scenarios because it's for different for like many people you know so I think it makes sense to do it like that but that sometimes can um, be like taken in different ways of course which is I guess meant to do. but um when i was talking about that we choose we choose to come here and part of that journey is suffering that's part of our lesson and um now i guess we're going into like more of a like spiritual beliefs i guess and you know people were commenting about how people have different beliefs about if there's you know about reincarnation and if we decide to come into each life with you know if we choose our lessons and if we choose our family we choose we do all these contracts like that's to me <coughs> to me that's just like I guess you could say a point of view, belief, whatever. But to me, it's like, to me, that is kind of truth and how I see it, how I perceive it and how, what makes sense to me. So I, um, that video was a lot about like, hey, we don't have to constantly, what I was kind of meaning, uh, what I wanted to, how I wanted it to come across is that like, um, because in a lot of my healing videos i'm like hey like expand out your energy like return to center and like interesting point of view and like you're you're an infinite being like you don't have to suffer but like honestly like i'm really tired like i it takes a lot of work to also like learn to have that kind of point of view you know and to constantly kind of be like always reminding yourself of those tools and it's like i was just like i you know like i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but it's like like i'm kind of exhausted like i just want to exist i want to be tired i want to allow myself just to respond to the world sometimes you know like it's like <sighs> so i guess that was like kind of what i was aiming towards was like hey if you're suffering if you're um or not suffering but like what i meant with suffering is that like from my point of view is that we come into this life and like hey i'm gonna focus on this lesson in this life you know whether that's like unconditional love or something and then to shine a, shine a light to and to know how that is it's like usually you have to ex um, experience the opposite first which is like maybe abandonment loneliness like feeling totally um or abuse or something and then it's like um it's like you it's 
it's like a theory that you can't um, fully experience something until you've experienced the opposite or something like that. So you can't see, there can't be light unless there's light lighting up the darkness or something like that. So, so that's what I meant. It's like, hey, like, even though we choose this, in my opinion, <laughs> um, it's okay to be like, this is hard, you know, damn, this is hard. So... You don't like you know it, especially like in access consciousness there's like there's a lot of toxic stuff in that um world like as well as there is in all kinds of like manifesting world or new way spirituality you know it's like hustle hustle it's like the hustle energy just seeps into everything even spiritualism spirituality but yeah so the access consciousness is always like you can't really be like oh that this is hard or this is like you know the world is like this it's like oh that's another reality what about your reality and like you're like it's everything is like victim blaming blaming that kind of like of course you can like the tools are amazing and what i'm talking about mainly is like the the whole um um the whole kind of like community or um the what's the word like the the energy that all of the community kind of creates together so it's like oh, the collective collective energy of access consciousness like the dominant energy group energy kind of like you know religion can be you know but of course it's not a religion but it's like it has some similarities sometimes it's like it scares me a little bit you know i'm like oh it's kind of toxic it's like you're not allowed to say anything that is like uh, like anything close to like being a victim or something you know it's like like wow who does that who does that belong to or interesting point of view it's like everything is like okay can i just vent you know can i just be can i just acknowledge also how the world works and that you know different privileges and um it's like i think it's really important to acknowledge everything that we find difficult because there's a difference between acknowledging something and like letting that control your whole mindset to me i have found out that like i have through my life um pushed so much under the rug and I always pretend that, that everything's fine when it's not definitely not and i have like always just trying to be positive and you know like oh but everything's like life's amazing you know but suffering deep inside you know um when i was younger so through my through, through my adult years i've just realized the extreme value in opening up my mouth you know not analyzing too much what is coming out just like i need to need to vent or like just like need to just express whatever needs to come out i need to acknowledge what i'm having difficulties in i need to acknowledge what i want to change like to be able to have awareness of what i'd like to change i need to be aware of what it is that i find difficult or where i'm not meeting my needs or you know um yeah so like we have to just be mindful and i guess careful and aware when it comes to anything we are um that has like a big anything spiritual that has like a big community or that is kind of led by privileged people you know um so that applies to all kinds of things and it's like that also it's also said if that is something that drives us away like for example with access consciousness like i've been kind of like it's driven me away you know a few times and then i come back to it because it really helps me those tools but i just have to get away from the you know the gurus of that world you know like no i'm you know just choose very wisely who i kind of get inspiration from and just 
use what I have learned, just know how it works for me, you know, etc. So, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. It's a new day and today me and my mom are going to the Christmas house in Eyjafjörður. We are the only ones here because they just opened. No, actually, someone just came. There's a fire pit here. And here is like my favorite thing it's like a little barn. So cute. important thing of all when getting anything warm to drink for me is to have the right to have the right cup there's a lot of them dirty so 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 none of them are the right one because for tea they have to be kind of big
let that steep for a few seconds because it is black tea so it doesn't take a lot it doesn't take a long time so yeah this is also bought from like the danish part of the christmas house like it's like a danish little store so juletheme mandel sorte this is not icelandic but we would say Jólatea með myndlum, svartea. So it's similar in a way. when I'm like okay like I can feel and notice myself starting to get back into that coping mechanism that mask being like super like, just like super polite and super like you know scripted and I just feel how my soul just gets more and more crushed and watch one of my favorite shows that I've seen many times. This is so strange this time of year to have no snow and the grass is not even yellow, it's green. Like, And the mountains are uh, on one side are kind of filled with snow, but on the other side, just like the tips. From this angle, you can kind of see it. So, this is here yet where you go skiing. Well, you don't do that now because it's not enough snow. I think this is Kaylir. It's like half. And then uh It's just the tips. The top uh, kind of touched the voice now. Hardly. And it's uh, November 30th, so December tomorrow. So we are coming to an end <laughs> finally in this long vlog. Um, thanks for sticking through the video with me, those of you who have watched all the video, and I'll see you in a, in a few days. Bye.